So when you're in and out of Alaska for like three months, think to yourself, what's the opposite of Alaska? Florida is the opposite of Alaska. So, Florida, yeah. <laughs> So the main reason I wanted to go to Florida was one for the nice weather, but also to put some serious work on my YouTube channel. Not to mention I was getting pretty fed up with coronavirus and I heard it wasn't a thing in Florida. I've never been a big fan of Florida, but Elizabeth, a former shipmate, told me I had to check out St. Petersburg. Apparently they had a ton of breweries and amazing beaches. What better place to spend the next month and a half? So I found Bickley RV. It was right in between Clearwater and St. Petersburg, and about a mile away from Madeira Beach. Perfect place to spend the next month and a half. Shortly after settling in, my boy Rob came to visit. Haven't seen a guy in like two years. And what do two guys in their mid-thirties do when they hang out? For some reason, they pretend like they're in their early twenties. What's that old saying? The higher you fly, the harder you fall. Uh, things are good. After Rob left, I got in a serious work routine. Really tried to focus on the videos. Work, 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 work. Not a bad place to work though, huh? Home sweet home. After about four days of being glued to the laptop, I figured I should get out and stretch my legs a little. My favorite place to go was Madeira Beach. It was only about a 10 minute bike ride from the RV. Public beach access with a tiki bar. Can't beat it. The beaches were a little crowded, but if you walked a couple minutes down the beach, it was pretty quiet. So Pinellas County has the Pinellas County Bike Trail, which is essentially a super highway for bikes. Almost that top. This bike trail. The bike trail is crazy. It has its own overpasses and even bridges. You can pretty much take the bike trail anywhere. On one beautiful, lovely Florida afternoon, I decided to change the faucet. What's the worst that can happen? I, uh, I just finished putting it in. I messed up on the gasket though, and I went to turn around and I kneeled 
on a stupid ceramic. Oh man, that's, that's bleeding a lot. On a stupid ceramic freaking thing. It got me pretty good. Uh, man, it's opening up too. I, have, I get f***ing stitches again. God damn it. Yeah, I got stitches again. Luckily, my neighbor Martha saw I was in distress and took me to the hospital. And she stayed with me the whole time. Getting the stitches wasn't all bad. Gave me the opportunity to hang out with Herbie and Martha. Two of the best neighbors a guy can ask for. We had more than a good time, to say the least. You know what? When I make you wait that long. <laughs> because of the stitches, I wasn't able to ride the bike, so I was going to be stuck in the RV for the next couple days. Yeah, just a typical night in the RV. Rogies, some pretty good beer, local beer, and uh, working on my computer. I'm trying to edit videos. Life's not so bad. Lucky for me, my old shipmate Elizabeth came by and rescued me for the day. I got to meet Skipper and we hit a bunch of breweries. The best brewery of the day was If I Brewed the World. Super tiny place, but they had the best beer by far. Crunchberry wheat was amazing. It was a pretty nice day. It's always a treat hanging out with people you sailed with. After about 10 days of being on timeout, Martha finally took my stitches out and I was back on the bike. We needed to make up for lost time, so I decided to head over to Treasure Island. Heard the beaches are pretty nice, surprise, surprise, and there's a couple of breweries I wanted to check out. Riding my bike kicks my ass. Woo. The beaches here were a little more secluded, which was pretty nice. After I was done splashing around, I rode over to Sea Dog Brewing for lunch. I've been to Sea Dog Brewing before. Not this one, but another one. Not a bad place. Decent beer and pretty good food. It was nice to sit outside. The next brewery was Mastery's. It was a small, tiny, converted gas station brewery. So they had a pretty cool vibe. Uh, their beer was okay. They had a really good orange cream school sour. And the avocado caprese thing was amazing. After everything was said and done, not too bad of a day. You know, the more I think about it, the more I realize I really like it here.